quality of the standards, the surface conditions of standards uh, adjustment, how do you adjust it, uh, the marking and also the presentation of it. So why do we need to have all these technical requirements? Again, this is just to guarantee the mass stability over a long period of time so that we can maintain the, um, the, the mass value. So in, for, in order to do this, we need to have mechanical, good mechanical stability and also good uh, surface quality on the, um, on the um, mass standards, for example. Weights shall have a simple geometrical shape uh, from, uh, from the uh, manufacturer where they manufacture it of one piece. So it all comes from um, uh, one piece, right? So that's a generally. And then they shouldn't be have uh, sharp uh, edges or corners. This is to prevent the damage and um, of, uh, of from sharp edges, right? Yeah. So and then there uh, shouldn't be any uh, space to allow a dust to deposit on on the surface or other, other materials uh, that can be deposited on those, um, um, uh, what I call that, the um, a dip in a, in, on a surface. And also a weights of a given weight set shall have, uh, all shall have the same shape except for weights of uh, one gram or less. So for shape of one, of one grams or one, one grams or less, we can look at uh, table two here. So with any nominal mass, nominal values, with starting with um, five, for example, like 550, 500 milligrams, the sh if it's a sheet, it has to be, it's a polygonal sheet, then it has to be on a shape of pentagon. And if it's a wires, it either can be on a, a five segments or in a pen pentagon shape. And then for uh, nominal values, they're starting, um, they uh, start with a digit of two, 220, 200 milligrams, uh, the, the polygonal sheets uh, shape will be a square or wires two segments, for example. Um, for one, it is uh, in a triangular shape or, or wires of uh, one segment. So these are for um, shapes of weights that are one gram or less. So this can be found in table two of the OML document. So now for weights uh, of one gram up to 50, uh, 50 kilogram. So the most common shape, as we know, it's the uh, cylindrical with a flat uh, knob shape here. And um, the height of the body shall be between uh, uh, three quarters and five quarters of its uh, mean di diameter. And if we look at the Annex A, so the appendix in the, in the document, we can find uh, the, the figure, well, the figure here. So, um, so for example, this is for um, weights that is, um, uh, for example, one kilogram and uh, uh, a few hundred grams or 10 grams, yeah, we can have this kind of a flat knob, uh, knob shed head um, uh, cylinder. And then they can have a lifting knob as well. So the height uh, should be um, uh, between a point, and then the height should be uh, between 0.5 and one times of the mean diameter of the body. And then since um, we, if we move up to anything that's uh, above uh, 5 kg to 50 kg, it's quite he heavy. So we can allow some rigid handling device um, with the weights as shown in this, um, on the, the diagram on the left here. So here is the handling, um, handling uh, device. And then this is just from the bird, uh, uh, bird's eye view of it, yeah? So such as axles, handles, or hooks, and eyes, for example. Now, for class M weights um, of uh, 5 kg to 50 kg, can also have a uh, shape of a, of a rectangular parapet with around the edges and a rigid handle. Same, just because it's uh, heavy. So we allow some handling device. Now, for weights that are greater or equal to 50 kg, it's, it's even heav heavier. Um, so it can, it can be cylindrical. Uh, if it's, uh, for example, if it's a higher class uh, weight and um, or red rectangular or other suitable shapes. So, but the key point here is that the shape should be able, should um, be able to provide for safe storage and handling so that you don't uh, contaminate it too easily. Uh, so for, for easier handling, there can be axles, handles, and hooks as, as well. And for class M weights, um, it's even, um, there are even more things that can be added to it. For example, some um, roller tracks or grooves of limited area can be, uh, can be added to it for, in the intention for flat floor runs or rails for easier, again, for easier handling. So an example of uh, 
something that's heavy, uh, uh, that's um, 